five years from now, what does Solana ID look like? So that's 2030. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? So the thing is the internet is changing. So we're changing with it. So five years from now, we need to think about how, how will the internet look like? And I think crypto will be the essential base that, you know, the internet is going to be built on. The same way email was new at some point, crypto wallets were new and still are new to an extent. But there will be a moment when you set up a profile and you have a crypto wallet. You have a self own account behind your, behind your account immediately. And Solana ID wants to be the ad network of that future. So I think we can, we can build the next advertisement network, network that is um, fairer to users, that respects their data sovereignty and loops them in into the monetization of things, right? And then still plugs in into dApps or in applications of the future very easily and helps them to identify the right people in that, in that mass, right? So I think that is, the, that is a huge business case. That's why I mentioned Google AdSense earlier, because I think this is what it might develop into, right? At the, at the end of the, at, of the road. And many people forget that when they hear, hear Solana ID, they always think either it's a domain name or it's like, what does identity even mean? It's very kind of intangible um, kind of word. But the use cases you can build on top of it, like the ad network, I think that is strong. And that's something people understand as well. And if you build that on a self or an ID layer, it's also a very fair system for everyone involved. Right? And kind of win, win, win for everyone, the protocol, the user, and the application who's, who's trying to query the data. Um, I think the heavy lifting that we need to do in the next couple of years will be to integrate into what we call display partners on, on blockchains that will play out our kind of advertisement screens for wallets that log in there that will be identified by the Sun ID protocol while they're logging in to show a very targeted message from them from one of our advertisers, similar to Google, right? how AdSense works, just for blockchain. And we're missing that element right now in crypto. And as soon as Solana expands, so either in the future there will be only Solana, it might play out as the dominant chain for consumer applications, Obviously, we're going to be part of that. Or we're going to stay in silos where we have Solana, we have Base, we have a few other layer one blockchains, and we're just going to plug and play, you know, with our project. And there's going to be another ID system, which is white labeled, does the same thing in the other network. And the apps that are built on top of that will use the same protocol, right? Just in a different silo. That is a way we can also play out. But I see the internet evolving into this next era where Web3 becomes the internet again. We stop using those weird names, Web2, Web3, Web1, whatever. We just say, I'm on the internet, <laughs> right? But it's going to be powered by blockchain technology below it. Everyone has crypto accounts, and Trinity is going to power those profiles um, and make sense of the on-chain data, helps people to get their off-chain data in that system as well, and then helps the, the apps to identify the right people on-chain. Excellent. And Google AdSense, I mean, that as a standalone business is probably a trillion-dollar-plus business, uh -huh. right? It's the main revenue generator for Google. Yeah. And so that's big. It's very big. People, but they recognize that. Now they see what you're going after. Yeah. And I like how you use these terminology like the VIP and the AdSense. It's so important from a communication standpoint because when people hear ID, like you said, you get lost and then you're in this rabbit hole of, like you said, like the people that just like the concept of it, mm -hmm. but there's no value add. Mm -hmm. So yeah, AdSense is that way forward. Um, we're starting off 25. Some people believe this is maybe the biggest bull market ever. You know, we've got, Trump and the presidency, we've got a new SEC chairman, we've got Bitcoin and, and uh, Ethereum ETFs, we got rumors of Ripple and Solana ETFs coming up. Yep. Um, what do you think is going to happen this next couple of years? Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger, let's do this. So a couple of years is a pretty big projection. Six months. 
that is easier. So I think this year is going to be still a good year. That's going to be very choppy in the markets. But overall, we're not done with the bull market yet. We haven't seen the tops. We scratched on them. Solana literally scratched on the last all-time high, but didn't break it. That's not it. We're not done here, <laughs> like for sure. Especially looking at what's coming now with the new SEC chair, with Trump being you know, president of the United States again. I don't think this guy is going to slow down anything. He's an accelerator. He's been saying it and he's going to deliver on it as well. So I think, you know, the global liquidity cycle took a little bit of a break in the past couple of months. Also not done. As soon as we see global liquidity going up again, it will trickle down to crypto for sure. So that's the main driver of the upcoming, um, let's say, last tail of the bull market that can last for a while. So I think it's going to be either full 2025 that's going to be pretty bullish or it's going to even stretch into 2026. But that's again so far in the future. With the speed things change right now, it's difficult to say. But the next six months, I think we, maybe we see one more correction, but usually that happens through the summer in crypto and the patterns are pretty pretty easy to rely on for now. Um, but either before the summer, we see the new all-time high. I think that's very realistic, actually, now with the you know upcoming inauguration and so on, or after the summer in the second kind of half where usually things pick up, we see it then. So I stay optimistic for this year. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of that's right. We haven't seen the highs yet. Um, but yeah, they could come a little earlier than we expect. Um, but yeah, and then when everyone thinks one thing and also also does the other, but this should be an amazing year. It really should. And like yeah. I said, there's so much development, so much building. We have to crush through this yep. previous all-time highs. No time to chill right now. Like not yeah. really. This is still a year to be in the trenches. So as we say in crypto, that means be on your computer, be locked in, you know, talk to the right people and just keep building right now. It's not no time for a vacation really this year. Yeah. And it's a time to dial in your routine as well and get everything like on point in your life, is yep. what I would say as well. Um, how can people start with Salon ID? How can I get my ID? How can I get my, my solid score? If I'm a business, you know, how can I potentially log in your, your yep. portal, et cetera? So at, the, at this time right now, we're like in the middle of January, 2025. Uh, at this moment, the best way to at least get exposure to us is by joining the communities that we set up on Twitter, Telegram and Discord, because we're so short before launching things. People seeing this right now, they should just be out there and look for announcements because Solana ID beta is going to launch later in January. So that's very soon. So if this is being watched after this, we might be already live under app.solana.id. Very straightforward. There's going to be the application. Right now, you can already go on solana.id. Also very easy. In the browser, the domain is pretty good. Um, you log, you go in, you see everything about us. You'll find our Twitter. Twitter is where we push the most important announcements. It's actually a really nice page as well because we take our content really serious. And we, it's fun content to watch, but it's also very informative. So I think the Twitter follow is very important. And then every Saturday, literally every single Saturday, we have community calls. We call them solid talks. Similar format that what you experienced in the TGE stream. We have this every Saturday. For people who are new to our company and new to the protocol, new to the community, just dialing in there for one hour on a Saturday is a great way to kind of meet the founders, get a vibe of the community, you know, and see what we'll talk about. We usually reflect on the past week, what's new, what's upcoming in the next week, what are topics on the founders' minds right now. In full sense of transparency, we do these talks every single Saturday. So that's a great way to kind of interact with us. 3 p.m. UTC, every Saturday, solid talk on Twitter, broadcasted on our profile. So that's a good way to start. And then we're active in Discord and Telegram chats pretty much every day, answering questions and being out there. So until the product is really live, those would be the first instances. And then when the product is live, then just get your salon ID. Love it, man. Now I want mine. Mm. I want to be in the top, top tier like everybody else. Um, I look, I think the way you communicate is so important. I wish more projects would be as transparent as you. When I go to your Twitter feed, I just see tons of video of you com constantly communicating and communicating with other, other media as well. And um, I think it's really important. I think so many founders just don't do it or they don't put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. But um, that's what people need, constant communication. That's actually great leadership. I think so. Uh, that's super cool that you're doing that. Um, look, Simon, I'm pumped, man. I'm super excited. We got to be a part of this. I'm so glad I met you at the Founders Villa and that we made all this happen. Uh, I'm really excited and I just see this massive future for you guys. So thank you on behalf of myself and all of our LPs. We're just pumped to be on this journey for the next few years and, and we're here to do it with you. Cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate the support and everything. And also, it was a really fun conversation here on the channel. So thanks for that as well. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Think so. Cool, man. How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? 
I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. This has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club.